When Donald Trump voiced his concerns about the deployment of bodyguards, it sparked a significant response, resulting in the deployment of additional agents, despite Joe Biden's comparatively small security detail. This raised a critical issue, the mismanagement of security, personnel, and the insufficient measures taken to ensure assembly safety. I know many people in the FBI, they're great. That they tend to be at the mid and lower levels, they're up a level, and they're, right. they're mega. Believe me, they're mega. They make America great again, people. But, uh, you know, there's some things going on with our government that we have to really worry about. And did we have enough people? Why didn't we have enough people? Somebody said that a lot of people were put on Biden's uh, detail. The problem is Biden doesn't draw anybody. He draws flies. He draws nobody. And, you know, you don't need very many people for that because he does not draw. Like 30 people show up and we have 55, 60,000 people show up. And so you have to take care of those big crowds. Uh, Secret Service detail of 20, you can have a one-to-one -one ratio at a Biden rally, right? The president actually needs substantial protection. So I 100% I believe that some people got to be investigated and probably some people need to be fired. Emphasizing the crucial need for the efficient and effective use of resources, particularly in national security, Trump's comments highlighted a broader public concern about government mismanagement and accountability. His remarks served to underline his popularity over Joe Biden by pointing to the disparity in crowd sizes at their respective events. This narrative feeds into conservative views of strong leadership and robust public support for certain policies and candidates. Critiques of resource allocation and demands for investigations or potential dismissals are rooted in the conservative belief that government agencies must be accountable and prioritize public service. 